This is the first in an ongoing series on the ARM microcontroller, how to program the microcontroller, and the circuit building associated with this controller. This will be a series very similar to the AVR series that you can find on newbiehack.com. I will be demonstrating many different types of circuits, control, communication, and sensing using the ARM M0 through the latest M series that is available at the time of the video creation. For those of you that may not know what a microcontroller is or what it does, a microcontroller can do what its name implies, control. But it can also sense, receive input, respond to events, and communicate to other devices and peripherals, such as external computers, other microcontrollers, or other devices that have integrated circuitry that enables it to communicate. The way that microcontrollers can sense is they can receive analog input from a sensor and have that input converted into a digital format enabling the microcontroller to sense things such as temperature, light, flexibility, pressure, angular velocity, tilt, gravity, movement, and many other types of sensing. Microcontrollers can also communicate with other devices and computers using serial communication, such as I squared C, SPI, and UART, or USART. And all of these types of communication can enable wireless communication like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and radio frequency. Microcontrollers can also receive digital input, not related to serial communication, such as button presses, encoder, encoder pulses, PWM signals, and any other type of on and off signal coming in to the microcontroller. The type of instruction I like to give is based on the lowest level fundamentals with circuit building, which means using the single processor and building off of that, not using a platform like the Arduino, Discovery Board, or Raspberry Pi. Learning in this more fundamental way will engender better foundational knowledge on how to design efficiently and prototype for large production. If you start with a platform that already has a large buildup of circuitry, once you embark on making a real design for production, you need to take steps backwards to get to an efficient prototype. Keep Arduinos and other interface platforms to one-off projects and learn the fundamentals if you want to get into design that is efficient and cost-effective. In this series, the programming language used will be C++, and in most cases, I will create the libraries and functions rather than using existing libraries. Since the microcontroller is a surface mount device, we can't just plug this into a breadboard. We need a way to get the pins into a breadboard. We will be using this card and interface. The card simply contains the ARM microcontroller and spreads the legs into traces that have headers that go into the breadboard. The card was designed to specifically use three breadboards, one for each of the sides of the card. The configuration works well since there are many tie strip connections for each pin and there is a break between the breadboard to add a resistor or other component to another tie strip. For instance, a resistor can be placed here and the LED can be placed here, which is more visually coherent than placing components in a zigzag on neighboring strips. I hope you will follow along in this series with me to learn about the ARM architecture and embedded programming and circuit building. Thank you for watching.